Uh, and I turned 21 in 1990 in Seattle, uh, and, and that meant that uh, uh, in 1990, if you remember your history, uh, was the best time to live in fucking Seattle because everything had exploded into this tsunami of just art and culture and music and screaming and flannel, and it was amazing. And I got to be in the epicenter of that, and we got to go to all the clubs, any weeknight, I shit you not, for at least a year, any weeknight, you could walk into any club downtown and just go, oh, there's Mud Honey, oh, there's Pearl Jam, there's, uh, oh, look, there's Nirvana, Soundgarden, Tad, the Melvins, every fucking night. And, and I say that because recently, uh, one of my friends uh, said the following sentence out loud to me. Man, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, you get your money's worth with that Dave Matthews band. <laughs> You ever want to murder one of your own friends in front of their children as an example to not be a fucking doofus? And, 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 and I see what young people are doing, and, and you get shit on a lot. You get, you're getting the brunt of, of generational punishment uh, for no other reason then you have tried to uh, push a forward progressive idea where everyone gets fucking treated equally and that uh, 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 the, the gender binary is deconstructed while you shake the pillars of the patriarchy and push transphobia and homophobia and racism and misogyny into the past and try to bring everybody into the middle into an inclusive circle of light and love where everyone belongs, all are welcome, all come in, and then people my age go, Avocado toast. And, and, and. <laughs> Which, by the way, is a fucking bullshit argument. If you're, if your leverage against a generation's forward progress is what they put on their toast, you deserve to have your voting rights rescinded, okay? <laughs> You're a danger to everybody if your argument is, uh, but when I was young, we had a perfectly good piece of toast. You put a big old splap of butter on there. And these fucking entitled little participation trophy, uh, getting everything they want, free college, everything handed to them on a silver platter. They got to put fucking avocados on their toast because they're so entitled. No, they have to put avocados on their toast because they don't have fucking medical insurance. And they can't afford to put fat on everything. So this is a generational solution. This is a generation trying to fix things with a forward momentum. And, and I'm on your side, and, and, I, and, I, and I, I will not take cheap pot shots. At, at fucking, by the way, millennials are 38. Let's leave them the fuck alone now, right? Like, they're super old. And that just bothers me. And, and I won't take pot shots at, at younger people. I see comics my age do that shit all the time, and it's lazy and stupid, and, and, and I won't. I'm on your... Use me. Use me as a conduit. Fill me with your message of inclusivity, acceptance, and hope, and, and, and unconditionality, and let me take it to old people and say it in a language they can understand. And I dumb it down for them, and I try to take your message forward and allow me to do that for you. And I ask, by the way, nothing in return. I'm not like, I'm not, this isn't a setup where I just kick your legs out from under you and say something shitty. I really mean, use me, uh, and I ask nothing. Don't ever stop your hard, forward, progressive agenda of a generation of light and love. Don't change that, but uh, as an ally, as an advocate, uh, it, it would help me. It would aid in my mission to take your forward progressive message to the elderly. If you guys collectively, and, and don't stop your work. <laughs> but if you could collectively just help me and, and keep it down and stop bragging out loud about eating each other's buttholes. <laughs> I'm not saying don't eat a butthole. I'm not here to kink shame. Don't put that on me, Portland. I'm not saying don't eat a butthole. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just fucking shush it a little bit. You freaking old people out. We need them on our side. Uh, they, they're great donors and, and, and it just keep it down. Keep it down. Eat. 
eat a butt. That's not what I'm saying. Get in and eat a butt. It's the 21st century. Get consent. May I eat your butt? And if you get an ahoy, get in there and, and eat a butt. It, it, if you get the thumbs up, go, have fun. Go bobbing for truffles in a jogger's soggy drawers. I don't care what it takes for you to nut. Your, look, I... I'm on your side. I look. I have my own thing. Just so you guys know, now that we're now that we're talking about kinks and we're all open, uh, I have. My, I can't come unless my wife farts on my reading glasses, and that's my thing. Uh, <laughs> and I call it an Arizona shower door. And uh, not gonna find that on Urban Dictionary. Uh uh. My own thing. Little Red Lobster pre-funk. Oh yeah. Little Cheddar Bay Biscuit Fog. Okay, anyways. 